Hello my dear friends, I am Sujoy and in this video I will tell you how to do Newton's divided difference interpolation very easily with the help of Casio FX Nano Non ES scientific calculator. So let's start. This is our question. We have to find out or evaluate f of 5 from the following table with the help of Newton's divided difference interpolation formula. So first some basics. Newton's divided difference formula is used when there is unequal gapping between each term of x. That means here you can see the gap between these two terms of x is 1. 3 minus 2 is 1. But here the gap is 3. 6 minus 3 is 3. Then again the gap reduces to 1. 7 minus 6 1. Then again it increases to 2. 9 minus 7 2. Here there is not even gapping or equal spacing between each term of x. In this kind of interpolation table, we use Newton's divided difference interpolation formula. But if there is even gapping between each term of x, we can use Newton's forward interpolation formula, Newton's backward interpolation formula or the Lagrange interpolation formula. But in this type of table, we have to use Newton's divided difference formula. So let's start. So first, we have to find out the divided difference table. For that, first construct this table and write all the x values vertically. Next, write all f of x values, also called y values, vertically next to it in the next column. And next column is called x0, x1 column. And here, this number can be obtained by this number minus this number divided by this number minus this number. So let's do it. For that, press the fraction button on the calculator and 39 minus 15 divided by 3 minus 2. That is equal to 24. Similarly, this number can be obtained by 243 minus 39 divided by 6 minus 3. That is equals to 68. Similarly, this number can be obtained by 375 minus 243 divided by 7 minus 6. That is 132. Similarly, this number can be obtained by 771 minus 375 divided by 9 minus 7. Next, we will come to next column that is x0, comma, x1, comma, x2. So, this number can be obtained by 68 minus 24 divided by 6 minus 2 with a gap of one number. Sixty-eight minus twenty-four divided by six minus two, that is eleven. Similarly, this number can be obtained by one hundred thirty-two minus sixty-eight divided by seven minus three, the gap of one number. That is sixteen. Next. This number can be found by 198 minus 132 divided by 9 minus 6, the gap of one number. Our next column is x0, comma x1, comma x2, comma x3 column. So this number can be obtained by 16 minus 11 divided by 7 minus 2 with a gap of two numbers. So 16 minus 11 is 5 and 7 minus 2 is 5. So 5 divided by 5 is 1. Similarly, for this number, 22 minus 16, that is 6, divided by 9 minus 3, with a gap of 2 numbers. So 6 divided by 9 minus 3 is 6, that is equals to 1. And finally, for our next column, this number can be obtained by 1 minus 1, divided by 9 minus 2. So 1 minus 1 is 0 divided by 9 minus 2 with a gap of 3 numbers. 
So zero divided by anything is zero. So the logic for making the table is for the first column, we will not take any gap. That is this minus this divided by this minus this with no gap. For second column, we will take a gap of one numbers. That is 68 minus 24 divided by 6 minus 2 with a gap of one number and so on. So for our third table, we will take gap of two numbers. So 16 minus 11 divided by 7 minus 2 with a gap of two numbers and so on. And finally, for this table, we will take this minus this with a gap of three numbers. That is 9 minus 2 with three numbers gap. So that is the logic. It doesn't matter how long the table is, if you continue to follow the pattern, you will eventually end up in making a correct table. Next we will write the Newton's divided difference formula. So the, the general formula for Newton divided difference is y equals to f of x or our first f of x value that is 15 plus x minus x0. x is given in the question that is 5 and x0 is the first term in the x column that is 2. This number is called x0, x1, x2, x3, x4 and so on. So 5 minus 2 into the first number in x0, x1 column. So the first number is 24 into 24 plus x minus x0 that is common into x minus x1. x1 is 3 into 5 minus 3 into first number in x0, x1, x2 column. So in this column the first number is 11 into 11 plus x minus x0 common x minus x1 common x minus x2 x2 is the third number that is 6 into 5 minus 6 into first number in x0, x1, x2, x3 column first number is 1 into 1 we are not considering our next term because in next term we we'll multiply into this 0 and 0 into anything is 0 so that is why we are stopping our calculation here so that gives us 15 plus simplifying this plus 72 plus 66 minus 6 that is equals to 147 which is our required answer so we can say for x equals to 5 our f of x value or y value will be 147 so friends this was my video on how to solve Newton's divided difference interpretation formula. I hope this video was helpful to you. If you like this video, please like it using the like button below. And please subscribe to my YouTube channel. The link is youtube.com front class sujoy n70. By subscribing, you can stay connected with me and get regular updates from me. Just when I upload my next video, you will get an email if you subscribe. And please share this video among your friends and family because sharing is caring. You can get my other numerical method videos on my channel. I think there are 27 plus videos on different numerical methods techniques. So thanks for watching. See you in my next video. And till then stay connected by subscribing.